It's true, the dumpster fire economy and record high inflation top nationwide exit polling as the top issues, but close behind was an issue that Republicans quite frankly suck at addressing, the A word, abortion. It's time for final thoughts. So from the moment it leaked, the Supreme Court was rumored to overturn Roe v. Wade. I knew this could be the issue that screwed Republicans and ding, 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 I wasn't wrong. Exit polling showed about 6 out of 10 voters said they were dissatisfied or angry about the U.S. Supreme Court ruling that overturned Roe v. Wade, and about the same percentage said abortion should be legal. Nationally, over 30% of voters named inflation as the top issue, but here's the kicker. In Michigan and Pennsylvania, it was abortion that was issue numero uno. And guess what, Republicans? Whether you're pro-life, pro-choice, or somewhere in the middle, the fact of the matter is we as a party absolutely suck at messaging on this issue. And here's a reminder for those who forgot. I lean to the pro-choice side of things, but I do agree with the Supreme Court's decision to kick the question back down to the states where it belongs. See, I understand that that is what the Dobbs decision did, but guess what? A lot of Americans don't get it. They've bought into the very effective and very false fear propaganda the left has been peddling that abortion was made illegal or that women who have a miscarriage or choose their own life before their unborn child will somehow be prosecuted and thrown in jail. That's a crock of crap. It's not what the Dobbs decision did or said, but some people are kind of stupid. Voters are uneducated. They listen to pop and TikTok stars and don't bother to even do basic baseline research, not even a freaking Google search or ask Siri. That's unfortunate, but newsflash, it's not changing because voters, especially the young ones, are getting dumber. So it's up to Republicans to take back the narrative and get our messaging through loud and clear. It is not helpful for Republicans to spout off about banning abortion. It's not. And if we want to win a presidential election for the rest of eternity, we better stop making that our battle cry. And if you think any differently, you're lying to yourself, however self-righteous it may sound in your own head. So instead... We need to emphasize states' rights. If we communicated that better, we wouldn't have lost so badly on that issue. And it's not just abortion. We have this horrible habit of letting the left shape the narrative, every narrative, and we are always on the defense. It's about time we go on offense. We tell them what we stand for, not back ourselves into a little corner and try to explain away the false labels they've put on our whole frickin' party. We keep handing them elections largely for that reason. We might like facts over feelings, but if we want to win, we're going to have to win over some feelings too. There is no reason beyond our own ineptitude as messengers that we could have delivered a real red wave instead of the pink splish splash we came out with. We don't need to play like the left, but we do need to take at least a half a page out of their book. So we can either be self-righteous or we can win. The choice is ours because I, for one, am sick of losing things we could have and should have easily won. But those are just my final thoughts from Nashville. God bless and take care.